Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos with Phones. Today, we're here to talk about the moment 14 millimeter fisheye. Let's get to it. What is this lens gonna do to your footage? Let me show you. I hope that I'm uh, still all level and things, but that is what the lens is gonna do to your footage right there. It's gonna give you a 170 degree field of view and mount it on a wide lens like I just had you on on my iPhone 11 Pro. And that is going to be like 30% wider than the ultra wide lens on your triple camera setups like my iPhone 11 Pro. At this point you may be saying, Joe, if I already have an ultra wide camera, why do I need this one to get even wider? Well, the ultra wide camera, you don't have the ability to lock focus. You can lock exposure, but you can't lock focus. And also you can't do any of Apple's or um, I'm also filming on the Pixel 4a with 5G. You can't use any of the ultra wide cameras to do any sort of night mode or night sight. So adding one of these moment lenses to like the native wide camera allows you to get super, super cool low light shots. You've seen some of them. Let's see some more. I'm normally not a huge fan of fish eyes because they either have vignetting problems or the fish eye effect is like too apparent. Whereas the moment 14 millimeter fish eye is not so. As is the case with all moment lenses, the 14 millimeter fisheye is going to come with the moment lifetime guarantee, is going to be constructed of film grade optics and aerospace grade metal, it comes with a front lens cap, no rear lens cap. You'd have to purchase that separately if you want. And it also comes with a little microfiber carrying case that is just big enough to fit your lens. Any moment lens, you're gonna need either an M-series case or an M-series lens adapter. Everything that I'm gonna talk about in this video is linked in the description if you're interested. It is one of Moment's newer lenses, so it is recommended for use with 2018 or newer model iPhones, Galaxies, OnePlus devices, or Pixels. My absolute favorite thing about the 14 millimeter fisheye is how viable it is as like a vlogging lens because it's not like an overdone fisheye effect. So you just get a super wide look. And I, for one, have had issues when I have like my phone flipped around and I can't see what is being recorded. Like you end up missing parts of your face and all that kind of stuff, which is a bummer. Um, and when I got the iPhone 11 Pro, I was really excited to be able to use the ultra wide camera for doing like talking head stuff while I was walking, but I soon realized that you couldn't lock the focus, which is a bummer. But as I said, with this moment, 14 millimeter fisheye, you can just pop it on either the wide or the tele lens, to be honest with you, um, and lock your focus and exposure and good to go. So yeah. It's also really nice that the working distance for this fisheye lens is like just over a half an inch. So you can get even closer than you can with the macro. And it allows you to get like a super cool effect because you're super close up to something, but you're getting that 170 degree field of view. So definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna put this back on for the outro. It just seems fitting. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. Definitely helps fight as the phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people because of the algorithm and things. Comment down below if you're gonna pick up this Moment 14 millimeter fisheye. If you're somebody that's considering vlogging on your phone, if you're somebody that has friends in a band or you're in a band and you need to record your own stuff because you're on a tight budget, if you are like an action sports person, somebody that likes to record action sports stuff, then this is seriously a lens worth checking out. It's not super, super expensive and you can just, it goes right in your pocket. There's no need for all of this extra stuff right in your pocket. 
and you get this this cool effect so yeah and as always subscribe to the channel we're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking tips tricks hacks reviews unboxings anything that you can think of if you like taking photos and videos with your phone toodles see you in the next one